Hi, I'm Trev Hutchings, and this is how to create a drum track in Cakewalk Next. Click on the plus icon. Click on Instrument. With the BandLab tab selected, click on Drum Kits. Click on the play icon to hear a drum kit. Click again to stop playback. Click on a drum kit to select it. Then click on Add. Now click on the drum track header. In the Inspect pane, click on Input Drop List. Click on your MIDI controller's name. Then click on All. Now double click on the track to add an empty MIDI clip. The piano roll screen now opens. Each row on the piano roll has a different sound. Each row header tells you the sound on that row. Click on the row header to hear the sound. Now click on the Snap Options drop list icon. Click on 1 16th to auto align notes to the 1 16th note positions on the piano roll grid. The thicker grey lines down the grid mark the start of each one quarter note and the start of each beat. You can turn off auto alignment by clicking on the snap icon. Click on the snap icon again to turn auto alignment back on. Now click on the draw icon. Then click on the note length drop list icon. Click on 1 16th note to make each note 1 16th note length long. Next, click on the start of the bottom row called kick to add a kick note to the first beat. Then click on the snare row on the next thicker grey line to add a snare note to the second beat. Click on the kick row on the next thicker grey line to add a kick note to the third beat. And click on the snare row on the next thicker grey line to add a snare note to the fourth beat. Click on the play icon to hear your beat. Then click again to stop playback. Now click on the back to start icon. Then click on the back to start icon again.
To delete a note, double click on a note. Now press at the start of the hi-hat closed row and drag along the row to add a continuous row of notes. To make the beat two bars long, press on the end of the MIDI clip and drag right. So the clip ends at the line on the ruler next to the number 3. Press on the scroll bar and drag right. Then add some more notes. You can double click on the MIDI clip to zoom out the piano roll to show both bars. If you enjoyed this video, do give us a thumbs up and click on that subscribe button. Cheers.